Today I'm here to talk about things to consider before you buy a phone. You see, a lot of people see buying phones or buying a mobile phone as a smartphone as just let's say I'm buying, I'm just buying a phone like just to use. But then you have to understand that buying a phone is an investment. Buying a phone is an investment because the amount of money you use to buy that phone uh, is going to, it's either you are buying a phone to use it personally or you are buying it for somebody. And so anyways, you are using money to buy it. And so you must be very careful when buying the phone. You must actually check about um, the affordability, the longevity of the phone and also its usability. Now, a lot of people buy phone just like that. They just decide they want to buy a phone and then they just buy the phone. Now, I love to use the iPhone and also I, I love the iPhone due to my own preference, okay? So it, there is nothing um, super mega about it, but then it's a preference. It's, it's based on preference. And so um, you can buy a Samsung phone, you can buy an iPhone, whatever. But then these things run through. So you have to understand that anytime you are buying a phone, the phone's price is what um, determines your, 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 your purchase, okay? So the, the amount of money you have determines whether you can afford the phone or you can't afford it. And so you must check the price first. But then, in as much as price is important here, I want to clarify something that you see a lot of people buy phones let's say um there is let's say um let me use an iphone because normally i use the iphone so I, 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 um apple released the iphone 15 pro max or the I, iphone 15 um series okay and then somebody wants to get a phone and then he says that mm, i think the iphone 15 is very costly and then i i don't have money to get the iphone 15 so i will go for the iPhone 11, iPhone X, or iPhone XR. Now, in as much as the price factor is good here, but then note that you are making a bad investment because you have to understand the phone that you are buying, the company Apple always releases new phones every year. And also when they release a new phone, they discontinue the old phones that they, they, they the older phones that they, they, they created or they brought into the system. So now we are in um, 2024 and then we have um, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And so this year we are, we are going to get the 16 Pro Max or the 16 series, okay? So if you bought the 15 or you, you let's say 2024, if you buy the iPhone 11, that iPhone 11, has been discontinued long ago i don't remember the year but then it's it's discontinued so if you decide to buy it now the the there's a high chance you are not going to get a brand new iphone 11 and there's a high chance you are not going to get um even a, a very uh, fairly used one but what you are going to get is purely refurbed or a, a kind of a, a, a phone that is hardly used, okay? The phone is hardly used that you, you might not use it for a longer time. If you go for the used type of phones, you, must, you might face challenges like maybe battery, camera has been changed, screen has been changed, all these things you think you are using your money to buy a good phone, but then you end up losing the amount of money let's say you're buying the phone for 3000 ghana cities okay 3000 ghana cities and then the iphone 15 model is running from let's say um let's say let's say um 10000 ghana cities okay 10000 ghana cities you if you have 10000 ghana cities you can get the iphone 15 and 15 plus or something the so if you use that 3000 Ghana cities to go and buy a refurbed iPhone, which might last or might not last for you. You, you end up losing that 3000 Ghana cities. So I, I, I 
will tell you that if you want to get a phone, kindly prepare because it's an investment. And also, I have a strategy that I use um, in, in getting phones, okay? So you have to understand this, that whenever you have a phone, um, you keep it well, okay? You keep it well. You, you make sure the phone is in a neat condition, is a very neat condition so that you can be able to resell it or, or sell it back when, when you want to um, gain money from your phone. And so you, you keep the phone neat and then when there, there is a new release or a new um, phone, you just present it to the traders and then the, you trade in for the new one. I think that is a better way to stay updated on the release of phones so that you don't always lose money so that you 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 lose money by your phone is destroyed you use your phone till it's destroyed before you start all over again so it's better you use your phone well handle it with care but in case of maybe emergency and then you lose it that is fine that, that is a, 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 an emergency something that means that you lost your phone out of um, a situation and so um, that one is okay. You 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 have the chance to start all over again and buy a new phone. But then, if it doesn't happen that way, you have the opportunity to make sure you handle your phone with care. And then, when the new models are released, you trade in. You go to a reputable uh, trading section or trading shop that allows you to swap your phone and top up to get the new one. Okay, it's better that way than to go for the older models which are discontinued by the company and also they do not release firmwares or softwares to update it to function as it's supposed to so some companies might release firmwares to you but then it will end up crashing the phone so i don't recommend that you buy older models at least if you buy an, an older model the farthest you can go is maybe two years older models don't go far back like five years older models, which is discontinued by the company. And also um, the firmwares or the updates that are supposed to uh, keep the, the OS, the, the phone software updated will not be coming because they've discontinued it. And so you will not be receiving updates on your phone, which is also a bigger problem to you because security wise, you are not updated on their firmware. And so, this is it. If you want to get a phone, kindly save and buy the one that is, is current or is in within two years to three years interval, which has been discontinued, but it is within two years or three years interval after discontinuation so that you don't lose some um, firmware updates or updates from the company and all that. And also you don't get yourself in trouble by buying refurbished or poor condition phones okay so thank you for watching this youtube video i hope you learned a lot and then you know how to buy a phone next time thank you see you next time mm -hmm.